you know, the relationship between a father and a child is not just important, it's critical. And we hear a lot about father-son relationships and we hear a lot about mother-daughter relationships. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, starting with Greek history, we've heard some things about mother-son relationships. Uh, but there isn't a whole lot of literature out there on father-daughter relationships. And father-daughter relationships can be just beautiful, just beautiful. And the relationship between Jawaharlal Nehru, the father, and Indra Nehru, the daughter, was a relationship like that, beautiful. It was built on love and trust and very open communication. Um, when I first read uh, Lavon Muller's play, Letters to a Daughter from Prison, I called her up. Uh, she wrote it 30 years ago, so I was curious to know why she had written it. And she said, you know, Vinita, uh, I wrote the play because I saw a news article about these letters that were published between Nehru and his daughter. And I thought to myself, after reading those letters, I thought to myself, I had never in the Western canon seen a statesman spend so much effort and energy in nurturing his daughter to become a statesman. And that really stuck, struck me because we are doing a play that is completely apolitical, that com just explores the beauty of the relationship between a parent and a child. But the context of it is so relevant in today's world. You know, we are talking about the formation of a woman who became the first woman prime minister in 1966 of one of the largest democracies in the world. It was a position that she held for almost 20 years. Um, we are talking about a father-daughter relationship in the context of struggle for freedom and self-identity. We're talking about a relationship that is set in a time uh, where it was highly unusual for daughters to be thought of as anything other than future mothers, future wives, future um, you know, nurturers of the heart and the home. And so in that context, this play becomes really, really special. And um, during the making of this play, what became most special was that, you know, somebody, a woman in America who has some South Asian antecedents uh, is possibly going to enter the White House for the first time in a vice presidential role. And so it lends a certain poignancy to the subject that we are addressing. So um, for all those beautiful, wonderful reasons, uh, and last but not least, the reason that this is a beautiful play, <laughs> I think this is a perfect play for an act to be doing at this moment in time. <laughs>